in the afternoon. It's about 1.30 October 14th. I just left the truck. I wanted to hunt this morning, but I had some work I had to get done. The wind's good right now for me to slip up the edge of this lake. I hadn't been in here this year. I'm going to slip slow, come up the edge of this lake. I got my stand on my back in case I decide to sit. But I won't. I'll go three or four hundred yards, and if I don't see nothing great, I'm going to get back to the truck and go to another spot. But I got enough wind cover now. If I wanted to slip on one, I could probably slip. When I've been at the, been sitting there for 20 minutes getting my stuff ready, and the wind's been consistent. Well, we'll see what happens. Came back up here to the truck. And came on down to a different spot. There wasn't much for sun. Where I was going, I didn't go far, but I hit a good trail that runs between two ponds. And if they're in there, there'll be a lot of deer using that trail. And there wasn't but two or three deer tracks on it. One of them was a buck, and he had pawed. But just came through there one time, so they ain't worth sitting on. I did see a good group of turkeys. Gonna walk on here fairly slow. It's hot. Let's see if any of this sun I was in here uh, about nine days ago. Let's see if any of this sun's been freshened up. I'm getting in there to where I'm in the area I was thinking about sitting. I had to come by four or five scrapes to get here. Um, there was a boot track. Had been in here since I was here sometime in the last nine days. When people come in here, they normally hunt an open edge. So I went past it and those scrapes had only been hit maybe once and probably three or four days ago. But I just came up here to where I found scrapes two years ago. Let me show you. He's hit that one fairly fresh. I don't know if I want to stop here. I think I want to ease on up to the top of the hill. I've got a good wind for either place. I would assume they're coming from the northeast to get here. I may ease up here just a few more yards and see if them scrapes are opened up. I'll sit somewhere in there. I came on about 25 yards from where I just showed you that scrape. And he's opened this one up too. It wasn't hit last time I was here. Let me ease up just a little bit. I'm not walking deer trails and if I'm right he would be dead over here about 250 yards right now I may ease on up just a little bit and see what it looks like uh, if I make it that far I've got a camera up here about 60 yards I hadn't checked in a couple weeks I'll look at it and either back up and sit 
course, if the sun continues to where I think he's bedded, I'll get as close as I think I can. And my camera's right over here about 30 yards. But he's got this place tore up. Got all that over there. Over there. He took that tree for a couple of years too. It's hard to see. Right there. See more going down that bank. Everything he's hit. He's hit going that direction. Let me ease on up here to the camera. Pull that car to see what it tells me. I'm still 200 yards from where I think he's at. I just slip on up here and check this camera. Camera's right there, watching this grape. That was one of the first grapes that was opened up this year. There's three shooters on it. <clears throat> um, one of them's at seven point. I got back in early. Uh, August in Velvet. He actually ran a doe by here about 45 minutes ago. There's a real big one on it. Uh, middle of the day, two days ago. First time I've ever seen him, he's big. I'm having a hard time making up my mind if I want to slip back in here. Sit up here. Where I think they're bedding a hundred and sixty yards. I think I'm gonna ease that direction just a little ways and probably still sit on this trail as much as I hate sitting on trails. They're not. It's hard to tell when the camera had it set on video. Every buck is coming from the north, headed south, daylight or night. So I think they're just coming to the scrape. The other scrapes look better. I'm going to walk up here and look 30, 40 yards and see if I don't think they're coming up this trail. I'm going to back up and sit on them last breaks probably. I just came up here another 30 yards. That camera is right there on that pine tree. I've been spending a lot of time in this grape too. I'm not going to walk any farther. Probably can't see it on camera. Where the ponds open up. At the, yeah, under that loom where the ponds open up. That's where the tall palmettas are. And where I think they're laying on the edge of the water. The wind's coming from that way. I think I'm going to climb that pond right there. It should be mostly in the shade and have plenty of cover. I'll just be shooting to this trail. I'm going to guess it's 3.15. I just got up there in the tree. <laughs> See far at all. There's a 
Morph and shield range of Let's show you what I'm looking at. Great with the camera that are in there. I won't be able to see them till they pop out. But, uh, looks great. Uh, I can glimpse them coming through here. He steps just right. I may be able to catch a glimpse there, but I doubt it. I'm probably going to be needing to draw as soon as I see him. He can go across the crossways. I can hear him. south of me and the wind's blowing that way. And there wasn't quite as much sign right here as there was on the other fresher scrapes. But according to the camera, they're still coming through here. At least one buck a day. And then yesterday was multiple. They're probably very right close somewhere, but I'm just going to sit tight and see what happens. just got up, fed around a little circle and laid back down because I hadn't heard it again. And I don't think it could have went anywhere without me hearing it. This is the prettiest evening I've got to hunt yet. It cooled down a little bit. Got a nice breeze. sat nine times before I killed one. But it was later in the year. My first set last year was like October. 
October 18th. That deer I said laid, laid down is a buck. Just got up, I couldn't see him, but he made a little racket. And he was going south, grunting about every step. Only about 50 yards. It's just so thick over there, he's in them tall palmettas. turn the camera on because there ain't been nothing to show <laughs> but that buck that was grunting just came back by he must have a dope he just came back by here I don't know if you can hear the blue jays in the background or not but they're giving him a fit he's right up there now right before I hit record on the camera I could hear him in the palm of us in this deer <clears throat> isn't coming out here. He's staying on the edges of taller palmettas. He just went north of me right now. I'm, I hate to, but I'm going to get down while it's light and see if I can slip over here on the ground where he's came through three or four times. shooting over there, but I'm going to try. Oh, that was a bad idea. It didn't work out. It's too thick. I got over there. I got over there and spooked a deer. It blew two or three times and trotted off. I don't know what it was, but it's so thick I couldn't shoot five yards. It's right at dark now. Just start slipping out of here real quiet. I may be able to hunt in the morning if I can. I've got a little better idea on where to sit. Hopefully he'll still be in here with that doe.